<laughs> What's up food geeks, Chef Nikki here, back with another episode of Nikki Talks Food. So today we're gonna make that ultimate holiday drink, eggnog. You can spike your eggnog with whatever you want, but we're gonna make it virgin style. So essentially what uh, my eggnog is, is creme anglaise, which is one of the pastry mother sauces. It's a stirred custard recipe, and this is a method that takes time and patience. The quicker that you cook an egg, the more like sulfur it tastes. So we're gonna cook this slowly so that we gently coagulate the egg proteins and make it velvety and more custardy tasting and not like sulfur at all. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is crack 36 eggs because I'm making three quarts of this. You can cut this recipe by a third and make just a quart or you can, you know, two thirds. Wait. You could cut the recipe by a third if you wanted to just make two quarts, or you could cut it by two thirds and make one quart. It's up to you. Oops, almost threw that away. <laughs> the trick to cracking an egg with one hand is that you basically you smack it on a counter and then you stick your thumb in, whoop, stick your thumb in and Pull it up in like that. Okay, so we got our 36 egg yolks. And what I'm gonna do with the egg whites is I'm gonna make a simple egg white frittata for breakfast tomorrow. Okay, so we are going to add three quarts of half and half. And you can cut this with milk if you want it um, a little less calorie rich. <laughs> okay, so here comes the science. So we're gonna put one cup of sugar into this pot with um, our half and half. Make sure that it's a stainless steel pot. If you use aluminum, your the custard will turn green or gray, and it'll be streaky, and um, it's not a pretty color. So always use stainless steel when you make custard. So we're gonna sprinkle one cup of sugar over the top of this half and half, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna sink to the bottom and create a barrier between the heat element and our milk so that our milk doesn't burn. It's our insurance policy. Sprinkle this coast to coast, like Space Ghost. In the meantime, we are going to mix our other two cups of sugar in with our egg yolks. And now we're gonna whisk, whisk, whisk. Now we just wait for our cream to come to a boil. Okay, now comes the tempering process. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add ladleful by ladleful of the scalded half and half and, and sugar to our egg yolks and we're gonna bring the temperature up slowly. Because remember, the slower that we cook an egg, the more custardy it tastes and the less sulfury it tastes. So it's a labor of love, but but the results are, are definitely worth it. Otherwise we'll make scrambled eggs and that's not what we're looking for. Okay, so I've put about half of the scalded half and half in with my um, eggs and I can feel it's it's getting super warm so it's okay now to add our tempered eggs to our cream and we're going to continue to cook this. You need two tools for this in order to um, make sure that you have the creamiest custard of all time. A rubber spatula and that's for getting um, into the corners and loosening up any cooked egg and you also occasionally will need um, a whisk. Now we're not trying to whip this because you don't want any air bubbles. Um, we just want to stir it around so that the coagulated egg has a chance to um, kind of bond with the cream. I also use a laser um, infrared thermometer when I do a lot of pastry stuff because um, Candy thermometers are a lot of drama, and so uh, all I really do is stir and then make sure there's like kind of like a pocket 
and then I can take the temperature and it's already 163 degrees. We're not gonna wanna go over 180 degrees. So um, we are going, we just wanna bring this up about 16 more degrees and then we'll strain it and cool it and add our seasonings and our vanilla extract because all that stuff gets added at the end. And we have this over a very low heat. Like I said, this is a labor of love. So um, you don't want to put this on high heat. Otherwise, the egg and the eggs will coagulate. They'll tighten up and they'll taste very eggy. Now we're going to strain. If it breaks, if you do indeed uh, scramble some eggs, you can use an immersion blender. Um, and bring it back to life. But it can't be too far gone. It can't, it can't be too scrambled, otherwise it's, it's toast. Okay, now we're gonna ice bath this and add our seasonings. Vanilla extract, couple tablespoons. Just gonna kinda eyeball it. Always put the vanilla in at the end uh, because otherwise it will make a gray color uh, of your anglaise. Here comes the nog part. We got the egg part, this is the nog. So this is nutmeg. We're gonna use fresh nutmeg. It's a whole nutmeg and we're gonna freshly grate it. A good amount. A little bit of cinnamon. And we wanna cool this um, on the uh, food code time scale. So um, for a temperature controlled food, the TCS food, we wanna cool this to below 70 degrees within two hours. Then you have four hours to get that food below 40, 40 degrees. Once it gets to 70 degrees, I'll just put it right in my fridge with, with an ice bath so that I cool it down uh, as quickly as possible. It's tradition in my family to drink out of this little tiny jelly jar. This is about a four ounce little jar and we usually add mm, spirits, uh, whatever everybody's uh, flavor of choice is. Some people like rum, some people like bourbon, some people just like it straight um, with no booze. We do that for the kids. So. It's kind of warm still, that's okay. It's even good when it's warm. Thanks for watching guys. If you like my show, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell, and as always leave a comment down below. I wanna know what you wanna learn next. Let's talk about food.